But today we're going to go over the pricing on all of our detail services and I'll compare some of the services because I get a lot of question on what's the difference between this and that and hopefully this will give you some insights into what we charge and maybe just give you a baseline of maybe where you could be or what you want to charge. Now remember with anything pricing related it's highly dependent on the type of service that you offer as far as what's included in the service, the condition of the vehicle, the size of the vehicle, where you live, how good you are, your skill level, your experience, how many customers you have. Um, like all these things dictate what your price is going to be. So don't look at my price and say, oh, that's really cheap or that's really expensive because there's a lot of variables that go into what you should price your services. And I do want to mention that customers sometimes have two to five services per job and if we have two or three jobs going on in a day or two or three jobs over a few days we need to make sure we're tracking all that information so that we know what the customer wants the team knows what we're doing and everything flows smoothly and that's why for the last four and a half years we have been using jobber in our business on a daily basis when it comes to booking in jobs managing our schedule keeping track of the customer's information, sending out appointment reminders. We run all of that through Jobber. If you want to get a free 14 day trial plus a special discount, click the link in the description and give it a try. Okay, so I have my phone right here so I can look at the services and we'll start from the interior and work our way to the exterior, starting off with a mini interior detail. Now this one is going to be the most basic service that we offer for the interior and it's literally just a vacuuming, a wipe down of the plastic and the services cleaning the glass and windows and the door jams that's it there's no thorough agitation there's no stain removal if there's if there's a few smudges on the, on the leather seat or something here and there we'll clean it up but it's not meant for heavy cleaning it's a very light basic maintenance interior cleaning and for this one it ranges between 80 to 120 dollars next up is the full interior cleaning and this is the one where i get a lot of questions of well what's the difference so the mini interior detail it's just a basic cleaning there's no heavy uh, agitation or cleaning or stain removal the full interior cleaning that one is where you get your deep cleaning where we're going to agitate and extract the seats and the carpeting we're going to scrub all the leather and plastic surfaces we're going to you know give it a deep cleaning so on this one the price can range between 220 to 500 dollars now again there's plenty of times where the pricing has gone higher but as a general statement that's where the price falls in now we actually do have a higher tiered service called a restorative interior cleaning and the reason why we made this is because there was a few times where the interior is so bad that like we basically have to do like a, a, a full interior cleaning but on steroids and that's where we came up with the restorative interior cleaning meaning if we have to extract the seats or clean some door panel like it's not just like your typical general like oh just scrub it down use a brush and you're done like it's so bad that like you really have to get in there with the steamer and air compressor and the seats have to get extracted three times the normal passes that we do on a regular interior cleaning. So when we say it's a restorative interior cleaning, it typically means like that interior is like gnarly. It's like, it's really, 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 like it's not a standard like, oh, it's like an average dirty. It's like, it's a top five dirty, cleaning that we're doing um so we don't see these very often um but when we do when we do do these it ranges between like 600 to 900 dollars so again this is like a one-off like if a customer brings us a vehicle in that condition it's an easy way for us to say typically we do full interior cleanings but on this condition because it's so bad we can we consider this a restorative interior cleaning and we lay out the details on why as i just said and the pricing is much higher so not really a service but that is an option when needed next up is a smoke odor removal it's basically a full interior cleaning with a few extra steps and a few different chemicals and then at the end we do run the ozone treatment now with this one if they just want the ozone treatment like we're not going to do any cleaning whatsoever it's just the ozone treatment 150 dollars for for a four hour ozone treatment now if the odor is still there or they want us to run another odor, tre odor treatment we're gonna we're gonna charge the same amount if they go with the full smoke odor removal process the price will be like 500 and we charge as high as 1400 dollars now if they select or if they go with the full process 
if the owner comes back within a month, they can bring us the vehicle again and we'll run extra odor treatments at no additional charge because we're able to, since we're able to control the whole process, we're gonna stand behind our work. So if the vehicle gets done and we run one ozone treatment and we let, we let it air out and we inspect it you know, two hours later and we still have a hint of odor, of smoke odor in there, we'll run another ozone treatment. And then they come pick it up and again, like if in a week or two weeks that the order comes back, we just say, hey, come back. We won't charge you. Just drop it off overnight and we'll run it again. Um, and, and the $1,400 job, that one was because the home caught on fire. The vehicle was in the garage. The front end of the vehicle got burnt, not directly by the flames, but like the heat melted the front bumper and the headlights. And the interior was like, because the, the, the ashes and fumes were able to get into the vehicle, obviously. So it was like very, 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 very bad. Um, that one went through insurance because like the, the home, I, I believe the home insurance or the auto insurance was covering it because of the, how, the fire. But that was like a special one-off case. But we've also charged 800 for a smoke odor, 700 for smoke odor. Um, but that's why the $1,400 was so high. It was like a very extreme case. And by the way, we do have our own detailing product line now called Proper Care. You can click the link down below to check it out or go to propercareusa.com. But right now we have four products. The all-purpose cleaner uh, comes in gallon size. And then we have a glass cleaner, uh, plastic and rubber dressing, and then a car soap that comes in both 16 ounce and gallon size and then there's quite a, a bit of merch on the website as well as far as shirts and hats and there'll be more products and more apparel coming in the future as well but if you guys want to give it a try that's what we use every day in our business uh where it fits obviously but if you want to check that out click the link down below and now we can move to the exterior starting off with the engine cleaning now this one unless it's like an older engine that you can't use water or it's like something special that like it just needs different attention then it'll be priced higher but for standard engine cleanings it's going to be 80 dollars. a lot of people say that's very high and a, a quick reason behind that is one it's not like we want to pack our schedule out with engine cleanings, right? Just flat out, that's not what we really want. So if no one books the engine cleaning, that's also fine with us. Two, if we are going to do it, we're going to charge accordingly. So that's why it's $80. Um, and next up here is the headlight restoration. Now this one, again, same thing as the engine cleaning, depending on what it is, it might be a little different, but we're typically charging $120 for that process. And that's going to include, depending on the condition, uh 500 or 800 starting sanding then 1000 2000 3000 cut polish and then apply a ceramic coating but again the, the the wet sanding process will differ based just on the condition or like what the customer wants or you know it, it might change here and there uh next is a premium wash uh now this one um i have another video on how we went from 25 dollars to 100 dollars for washes but on starting price for the most part and it's the smaller vehicle but for the most part it's fifty dollars and the most we've charged for a a, a truck it was like 120 i think but i think it was like a lifted truck um and it had like a big lift under with big wheels so it was like a lot of work so even though it is a premium wash like again the, the size of the vehicle plays a big factor into what you charge so you can say our, our premium washes go from 50 to 120 now um if you want to watch that other video that i made on what the difference is be between our washes but uh, initially our, our premium wash was called a basic wash and we would charge 30 dollars for it but after realizing like the amount of work that we're doing and you know obviously cleaning the wheels tires the inner barrels we apply protection to the wheels we you know uh aside from washing the vehicle cleaning the emblems grill um we apply a layer of spray wax onto where we, we blow dry and we realized like, yeah, this is quite a bit of work. It is a higher touch. And the same thing for the engine cleanings. It's like, we don't want 10 premium washes on our calendar, on our schedule every single week. Like it just, that's just not what we're going for. So again, that's why we do price it at a more premium uh, price one because one, the results are there. Like if you care about your vehicle, you know, you're gonna pay for that, for that level of service. Um, so it's gonna, you know, deter, deter the, the ones that just want like a $15 wash. So if you're gonna pay for that level of service, like you know what you want and you care for your vehicle, 
but then too again like we, we don't need a fully booked out schedule of just premium washes you know all day long so if we're gonna do it we're gonna charge accordingly as well next is a wash and wax so it's basically the premium wash and the next steps are going to be to do an iron removal do a clay bar process it's going to be i say clay bar but we use a clay pad we're gonna you're gonna clay the vehicle um, then you're gonna uh, panel prep all the surfaces and apply a sealant we call it a wash and wax just because like as it's like a mainstream more like wax Every, everyone everyone knows a wax sealant I, it, it just you know most people might know that but it's just easier to call it a wax we apply a sealant though uh, you apply the sealant and then you know you remove it but everything else is basically the same um although like that does make a big difference in the results is applying the sealant versus not applying the sealant um but that one we typically charge anywhere between 160 to 380 dollars obviously again big factor is the size of the vehicle the next step is when we're getting into some form of polishing and this is going to be an all-in-one now an all-in-one on one step everyone has different terminology for these services so the way i describe it and what we charge is different than what the next detailer is going to charge so you know take this with a grain of salt but for us the all-in-one well for one an all-in-one is when you do some level of light polishing and it applies a sealant as well so it's going to polish and protect at the same time so with this level of service we're not looking for any level of correction or we're not checking the paintwork with our lie to see if we're moving swirls it's just a very entry level service to give the paint some level of clarity some level of gloss while also applying a level of protection so depending on the size of the vehicle and such i mean you might it might be between like 240 to 400 dollars like it's still very very entry level it's it's it doesn't take a long time so you have to be careful with the service because the mentality is like once you start polishing paint you get like any level of polishing you start to get in your head of like oh well i can remove more swirls though and then what happens is you, you take a little longer and then what should be an hour job you're like well let me switch pads real quick and do the quick pass and then i'll apply the sealant and what, what should be a three hour job four hour job balloons to a five six seven eight job because you got in your head of like oh but i, I want to remove the swirls so this job is not meant for that you're not pulling out the lights it's a very quick job hopefully you guys can hear me there is a truck over there loading uh, some stuff so the next one is going to be a one step and again detailers are going to have different terminal uh, terminology for us, a one step is gonna be just a pure polish. Like you're still gonna to have to apply a sealant or, or some form of protection. But even then, like right now we have a 2024 Ford Raptor in our shop. It has 45 miles on there. And it's getting, it's, it, we say a correction and coating, but it's getting a one step because there's not that many swirls in the paintwork that you don't have to do a full cut and polish. Like a one step with a mild cut that finishes down well um basically uh, uh a tr it's called a tr like right now we're using 3d speed i think it's called and it's finishing down perfectly like you don't have to get over aggressive just because you're gonna apply a ceramic coating um but there's other times where the customer doesn't want to spend the money um or doesn't have the budget for a two-step correction and that vehicle needs a two-step correction because the paint is very the clear coat is hard so it's gonna differ on vehicle on what you're offering on whatever whatever so for a one step for us to, that'll achieve maybe and, and it depends on the paintwork because sometimes you can get like 80 percent removal of swirls with a one step if the clear coat works in your favor so on a one step that could range between let's say like 400 to 700 dollars and then you move on over to a two-step correction and again there's a lot of different variables on what's going to determine the final price but on that one it might range between like 600 to a thousand dollars for a two-step correction and then we move on to wet sanding and this is where the where the price really increases because wet sanding takes a lot of time it's a very special skill and if a customer really wants that they have to be willing to pay that amount you can't just give your services away because you want to do it so um like we had a customer come in for a uh, had a sonic uh, a chevy sonic and he said he wanted the, the paint absolutely perfect or as perfect as it can get and i was like all right well and, and we saw the paint condition is like that needs to be sanded if he wants to get that level of, of perfection and we quoted i believe 
uh, I think like $3,000 to $5,000 to wet sand the whole vehicle, do a two-step correction and ceramic coating. And he didn't go with that service. But like, if you want a full wet sanded vehicle, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny because that is a lot of work to do to wet sand the vehicle. So on this one, it just, depending on the size and how much work like you need to charge the proper amount to wet sand an entire vehicle now if you're talking about spot correcting that's a different you know if there if a customer comes in for a scratch removal on the door panel or or anywhere on the hood and it's like you know four inches long you know a hundred dollars just to knock it out to do a uh, wet sanding compound and polish um so so spot wet sanding and correcting that's a bit different but sanding an entire vehicle or like a lot of part of up, uh, you know quite a bit of the vehicle that's gonna be a pretty penny and now we move on to the ceramic coating now again sometimes you can have the ceramic coating with the one step with the two step correction like there's so many ways that you can kind of package this or offer it so you really have to take everything with a grain of salt because it's gonna differ detailer to detailer customer to customer so with a ceramic coating it can range between like let's say 350 to 500 dollars primarily depending on the size of the vehicle because for us we don't we no longer offer a three six and nine year coating we offer one coating and that's it we just personally i don't really believe in and and like I'm not really sold on the whole three, six, nine year coating. And if you do want to, like, you can just simplify the process and just offer one coating and at least offer like a six and nine year coating if you're trying to do multiple levels. But we just offer, right now we're using the uh, Shine Supply. I mean, hopefully you guys can still hear me. There's like a lot of vehicles moving around. It's the Shine Supply Beadlock Pro. And that's all we offer. Like we no longer offer the three and six and nine year coating because then customers would ask for multiple things and then we're, we're, we're giving out so much information. It's like, let's simplify the whole process one ceramic coating that's it and let's offer that and that wraps up mostly the detailing services um if there's any other service you want me to cover like just leave a comment down below and i'll try to get to it um then we have uh, I'll, I'll just keep it short here with vinyl wrapping um so like for instance to wrap a hood or to wrap a roof it's going to be for the most part 300 to 350 dollars for each one because it's very common to have like to get either just a roof or just a hood or both the roof and the hood um we've also done top half um wraps meaning like if it's a camry or an acura where you basically want like the abc pillars and roof wrapped that one would be like a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars depending on the size of the vehicle um we've done uh, like a full wrap would be anywhere between like 25 to 55 set you know six thousand dollars it just depends on the vehicle what exactly they want wrapped again like we could just do the hood for 350 or an entire vehicle for 3500 um and then you have to look into the material and how much that's going to cost because there is quite a bit of difference between using let's say 3m 2080 to uh cheetah wrap um the, the price is quite different in terms of like if you're doing a full wrap and you have to take that in, you have to take that into consideration and then possibly um you know if the customer's on a tighter budget you know having these different brands at different price points can help with the customer's budget as well and let me know what other content you want to see between detailing and vinyl wrapping or if there's anything you want me to cover on that because um, i've tried posting some vinyl wrap content on the detail group instagram page and it just because it's a different service not many detailers are going to offer that it just it doesn't get as much engagement engagement or view so you know not, not that i'm not going to share stuff about vinyl wrapping but you know just most people that follow me on detail groove are detailers and don't really care about vinyl wrapping i could also cover ppf but i'm not because we're not that well versed in it yet um but that's something that we also offer and we're already in talks of possibly offering tint as well and that's a whole separate conversation of like between tint ppf vinyl wrapping which one is better which one should you start off with which one is more cost effective whatever whatever so there's plenty of things i can talk about but i'll go ahead and end the video right there if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to get to them and I'll talk to you on the next one.